Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sunco's Garage. In today's episode, we are going to talk about changing the rear spoiler on my Mustang GT 2020. So, um, factory spoiler just looks itty bitty. And I decided to go with this, I think it's an MMVD, but it doesn't have the nice gloss. It's more like a matte black. I bought this in AmericanMuscle.com and we're going to add it to my Mustang GT. As you can see, we're going to come here close to the car. We already started the process. I'm going to explain a couple things on how to install the spoiler. But as you can tell, this spoiler needs to go. So first thing is first, uh, there's these little stoppers here show you guys how it looks like these just basically they just screw out um you you do have to apply a little bit of pressure but don't worry this is rubber and you're gonna have to take these two rubber pieces off to take out the factory spoiler as you can see there those are the bolts in there and then in here you will see that there's another extra two bolts that hold on to the well actually let me pull it more here. Don't worry about guys, this is just all plastic, but there is another two bolts right in there. Now, nobody in the internet for some reason tells you how to specifically take this piece out. They just say, pop it out. Wonderful, great. But there is uh, a concern that you can break this piece and then you have to go to your Ford dealership. So there's a little tab. I'm going to show you guys if you guys see that little tab at the bottom when you guys pull this out pull it from the bottom in order to take that little tab out it should come right off okay for this next part you're going to have to take out these screws like we said before right so i want to teach you guys something you guys really need a magnet sorry for the water let me put this over here you guys really need a magnet but i'm gonna teach you an old mechanics trick so basically if you want something to go on tight you use a little bit of just regular towel paper and you put it on a screw and you can take it out and make sure that it fits in nice and snug and it won't be lost into the wild blue yonder inside the inside the trunk so Ooh, i'm sweating so we finally took the factory spoiler off and I'm going to show you the, how I did that exactly. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get some fishing line. This won't damage your the paint of the car. Um, so grab some fishing line and then you definitely want that gun because that type of adhesive is super hard to get off. So what I did basically, I heated up the entire spoiler with the heating gun over here and so start it off in one corner so just start off in one corner and you can once you heat this corner up go ahead and pass the fishing line through and then give it some more heat and then you can start pulling it off slowly guys do this very carefully you don't want to damage your car but that's basically the trick you get a fishing line and you get one of these guns and well, you know there you go all right, so we're cleaning off all this gunk off the trunk. And I just wanted to show you guys how exactly I am doing that. There's nothing better than isopropanol. Look at that. Rubbing alcohol, 70%. Good for infections, good for a new spoiler. <laughs> um, make sure to use some type of sharp knife. This is, um, I know this one on the, on the edge is oxidized. It's actually pretty, pretty sharp. You want to go easy with it. All you really want to do is try to peel it off. This actually comes off. Um, pour as much rubbing alcohol as possible. 
the rubbing alcohol um, breaks the adhesive properties off of this gunk. So uh, go easy, go slow. As you guys can see, I'm going really slow. Um, I don't want to damage the paint of the car or anything. This is still a little bit of gunk that I need to clean out. This is all going to be really sharp and nice and dry. We're going to put in a new spoiler soon, okay? Okay, we're now ready to put on the new spoiler. As you can see, I cleaned this off really well. All of this gunk came off. Like I said, rubbing alcohol um, is your best friend in this case. Got to go slow, but you can see the end product pretty clean. No damage to the paint. And then the new spoiler, I got this one from American Muscle. You got to put on the tape. I'm about to take off this tape. This goes into uh, this hole right here. So this has to align perfectly. Um, I should really have somebody helping me, but I don't have somebody helping me. So I'm going to try to do my best on my own and get this aligned as best as possible. And we'll be back. And there you have it, the finished product. And there you go guys hopefully this video was helpful help me make more content like this by hitting the subscribe button if this video was very helpful hit that like button as well and always stay tuned for the next video of Sunco's garage